this is Ryan Hoyme, AK Massage Nerd. Today we have Javi Kadir. Hi, welcome. Hi, Ryan. Hey, hey. So, what is your business then? Um, I'm, I teach a, a system of body work that I developed, or let's say conscious body work with an energetic component to it. Okay. And I call it body energy wholeness. It's uh, strongly based in cranial sacral therapy. Uh, but there, there's a, a, a lot else going on in it as well. Yep. Um, and is it more of a lighter technique then? It's mostly light touch. Yep. Now over the years I've worked a lot with physical techniques and also on the other hand explored a lot of energetic work. And the, the challenge was always to get the energy work to get into the physical body and stay there, so to speak, to have lasting results uh -huh. uh, instead of just a, a temporary effect. And I was thinking about this for a long time, and I began to realize that I needed to get my clients involved more in what in in, in what we're trying to do instead of just lying there and receiving. Yep. Okay. So we're so used to that. Yeah. That's the so I, I began working with really simple things like breath and inviting them to just breathe a certain way, and that that hastened the process. And I began extending that and exploring that and using certain, even certain language. Like I, I studied neuro-linguistic programming and I was using language that would bring about changes in how their nervous system was working. Uh, and so it goes on and on and on, but I call this the inner game. Okay. <laughs> okay. So for me as a therapist, this is my inner game. This is what keeps my energy really good all day long uh, and keeps me balanced in a way to where I can see things that otherwise I would miss if I were trying too hard. That's the first thing. And then I use this with my clients. So day one, they're going to start learning the inner game. Now the way this works is that the treatment sessions go faster and better and then they'll get a little piece of, of the inner game to practice at home. Uh -huh. Okay, so the therapist, I teach the therapists, the therapist teaches the clients how to do this. So the client comes back a week later having practiced this little thing, it's just some tiny little, either a breath or a way to hold their body or certain, a particular stretch, and they're ready to go to the next stage instead of continually reverting and then having to work through it again. Yeah. So it's kind of neat. So uh, I, I, this is what I call the inner game. I'm starting to do this with teleseminars and there'll be webinars coming up uh, in the near future. And how do you convince people to do home care and stuff? I, I know when I have my practice, it's really hard to try to talk them into doing things. Well, it's very interesting. Uh, for one thing, when they're learning it and they get it right, you know, as for example, how a person's breathing or where the breath is going, uh -huh. okay, when they get it right, you praise them right away. You tell them, that's it, you got that now, you're doing it right, like you're a coach, okay? And then I use, and this is funny, it sounds funny, but it really works. I say, you know, there's, we have all kinds of uh, medicines that we get from doctors and things like that. Well, you know what? Your body makes its own medicine when it's working right. This is your medicine. This breath is your medicine. It's a little bit like uh, it's a little bit like changing the context of the conversation so that they realize that oh, I'm in control here. Yeah. And uh, you know, some people won't. If some people have self-defeating programs, and they won't do it. Mm -hmm. But most of my clients will do it. <coughs> they'll forget, then they'll remember, then they'll forget, and I'll keep reminding them that this will help you, and sooner or later they'll do it. And they say, you know, I, I was skeptical at first, but uh, I'm so glad you kept at me and you were patient with me. Yeah. So. <laughs> Can you do a kind of a brief overview of what, your, what a typical treatment would be then? Well, uh, let me give you just a couple of simple things here. Um, uh, you, 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 the client lies down on the table. Yep. So the first thing you want to do is just invite them to relax, and you just but you can't say now I want you to relax. <laughs> that's not going to. That's not going to work. <laughs> 
So let's just start to slow down a little inside. Now take that statement. Let's start to slow down. You don't have to slow down totally, but start to slow down a little yep. inside. Good. Okay. Now feel your breath coming in. Don't just breathe or just feel your breath. Feel your breath as it comes in because as it comes in, your body fills up and you can feel that. Okay. I'm getting relaxed just talking to yeah. you. Yeah, now the next thing is, <laughs> I gotta wake up. here's the idea. So once you yeah. get that going, you say, you know, your body's, think of your body as a balloon. Uh -huh. Now this is just the language of how you teach people this. Once they have it, they have it. Think of your body as a balloon. When you blow into a balloon, the balloon inflates. Uh -huh. When you breathe in, your body balloon inflates. Now you have a single word that you can use that connects that person to the experience of breathing in and feeling it. Be a balloon. So the next time they come in, I say, remember what we did last time? Uh -huh. And you were like a balloon? As soon as they hear that, Okay, so let's do that now, just be a balloon. And that's how it works. Yeah. Now, when you breathe in like this, the ribs move slightly off the spine and those ganglia back there get a little breathing room. Your dural ports free up so you get a little cerebrospinal fluid that oozes out of the spine into those nerve pathways. Everything in the autonomic nervous system starts to work properly. Mm -hmm. okay. The brain up here goes, this works, okay? So it's a sequence of physiological events that we connect language to, if okay. that makes any sense, yep. okay? And then when the person goes home, I say, remember, uh, I just say, say, listen, just practice this once a day for two minutes, or do this morning and night or whatever. Yep. Now this is just one little example, and there's lots and lots of things yep. in it according to where the person's problem is. Yep. But almost everybody is dealing with stress. And this is the first thing you do to deal with stress, is you slow the breathing down, as you know. Slow the, slower breathing triggers the parasympathetic response in the autonomic nervous system. Yep. It's you know, simple laws of physiology that are, you just take the time to apply them. Mm -hmm. Now, the rest of the time what I'm doing is I'm teaching cranial sacral work, some osteopathic technique, uh, some, um, uh, some stretches, we're using uh, muscle testing, biokinesiology okay, yeah. to therapy localize. We're using, um, Ryan, I have just started using something called EFT. Have you, have you heard emotional, that? Uh, freedom emotional freedom technique? Freedom technique? Yeah. Yeah. And I was very skeptical about this for, I said, no, no, it couldn't yeah. be that good. <laughs> well, let me tell you, it is, not only is it amazing, but EFT can be specified to the specific psychosomatic condition. Like, I'm always tight here. Or, uh, instead of just going, this pain, this pain, and I want, you know, relax, I will feel, instead of that, here's the deal. Check on the statements, like, okay, like uh, you got a muscle test and you got a yes-no indicator. And you can check the points, that's strong, that's strong, that point is weak. Okay, then you can find the statement that this person can make that strengthens that point. That strength, like, I'm gonna be okay, I trust myself, da-da-da-da. You can, okay, that's strong. So you know what, it's real simple. Just go, I trust myself. Yeah, exactly. It's a shortcut. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like really, really enthusiastic about e EFT and I'm, uh, as, as clearing that emotional component in the energy field. Yeah. And I myself, I got to wake up now because you're so calming and relaxing. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm all excited here being at the convention. Yeah. yeah. But that helps with therapists too and stuff. The more calming you are to the client, it just puts them in that state right away, even without even touching them, it seems. It's yeah, breathing. Uh, I had years and years and years of training from 
uh, you know, masters, you know, I was very, very fortunate to have yeah. a teacher who was a real master and, to, and just taught us breathing like all the way through classical breathing techniques and prana and so forth and so on. So yeah. I find that in the modern world, people need this education. Yeah. They need, they need this, they need to slow down and smell life and yeah. feel it and become present to it. And that's 50% of the game right there, maybe more. Maybe. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And what's the best way for people to get a hold of you then? Uh, you can go to my website, uh, uh, Body Energy. Um, <laughs> I gotta take a look at this. Yeah, this is a brand new it, world. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a brand new world. It was yeah. Dynamic Stillness Training. Yep. Dynamic Stillness Training. Or you can do this. Yep. You can text 22828 and the message is body energy, one word. 22828. Yeah. Put in body energy and send that and you'll get a, a message from me where you can put in your email and you'll be on my list and then okay. you'll get it. You're getting technical there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 22828 two, or okay. dynamicstillnesstraining.com. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure, hey, man. Hey, Ryan, yeah. it's great talking yeah. with you. Thank you. Yep, yeah. thanks, everyone. Okay. Yep.